And then they won't come and talk to you. They won't treat you like human beings and try to solve the conflict, you know, rationally. Because they only care about their profits. They can say they're a not profit, but I've been told by members of you that I'm bragging about their bonuses, them bragging about their increases. You know, we have to look at the society around us and ask us what kind of world do we want to live in, you know? We, do we want to live in a, in a place where people are not compensated fairly, that they can't get by, with, you know, in, in, in a very wealthy society in, in Toronto and Ontario in general, but also in Toronto? Although the wealthiest city probably in Canada, maybe aside from Vancouver, but probably Toronto. And, the, the, you know, we don't treat people with respect. It comes to housing, it comes to the child care, it comes to all the frontline workers that make this city work. The bus drivers, you guys in child care, the educators. I work in manufacturing myself, not too far from here. You know, and I see what's happening in this city. People are trying to squeeze it for all it's worth and get all the money out of out of the productive forces that we that, that are here. But if you guys managing the city and keeping it running, out of the natural world around us, the environment, the park space here, they're trying to develop it and push people all out to the limits. So we need to fight back, and that's why I'm so happy to be here and stand against capitalism, stand against this exploitation that's going on here, and demand that workers be treated fairly. I'm uh, also running for as a social action candidate in the election in Scarborough Agent Court in the, in the next riding over. So I know I know we're all part of the same community in Scarborough. Um, I live in Scarborough Southwest myself, actually, but I, I've had enough of this of this business as usual. With business as usual at City Hall and people backing the employers and not backing workers, you know, not backing the people that are that are this community. You know, they don't they'd rather have the police throw people on the street than may provide a safe place to live. So City Hall needs to take a look at this these things. They need to, they need to, they can't do everything, but they definitely need to work for working people. And that's that's why I'm here today is to support you. And I'm so glad and appreciative that you that you had me and gave me a chance to speak and then fight fight on comrades, all, all of you here. And I'm so lucky. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Corey.